that time of the weekend let's just skip the end of today and jump right into this or that first like subscribe if you haven't thank you all right let's do it first up all you can eat versus all you can drink eat you know what's better than an open bar an open mac and cheese bar yes that's a thing i'll see you there this year's christmas party bring some plastic baggies so you can snack all night long put one in every pocket all right next up happy hour versus day drink happy hour give me just 30 minutes one beer and a predetermined end time i can be the hero that weekday night most of the time. But if you give me all day unlimited beers, no time limits, the promise of a weekend, well, I'll show you how to wake up on a New Jersey beef with no shoes, a pocket full of Canadian coins, sleeping on a garbage bag full of day-old donuts. The best way to make a hangover worse is to have to solve a series of mysteries as soon as you wake up. Not today, Watson. I'm going to bed at 8. All right. How about pancakes versus waffles? It's waffles. If you're not making little syrup pools in each of the little waffle cubes and then dipping your bacon in it while you eat breakfast, I question if you ever really have taken off a weekend in your life. Get on it now. Don't wait. No better time than the present. No better present than a hot waffle. All right, let's take a look at amber ales compared to amber lagers. So it's going to be amber ales for me by a hair. Middle of the road kind of guy. Middle of the, kind of the road beer is here. Very easy drinking and approachable. That's a fine place to be, you know, unless you find yourself waking up in the middle of the road, and that's terrifying. See New Jersey. Um, uh, but, you know, really, what I'm looking for is something with a little bit more flavor, a little more bite. If I'm in the middle of the road, I want it to be kind of bumpy. And in this metaphor, transmissions can take it. So let's jump out of the metaphor and just talk about what I really want to talk about. It's Nugget Nectar. It's an amber ale, one of my favorite beers ever. I really just put this here to hope that Trogue sends me a hat. Nugget Nectar's the bomb. You guys already knew that, though. But Trogues, send your hats my way. I'm an extra, extra large. Um, all right, let's finish up with something kind of big and maybe earth shattering. Batman versus Superman. So I'm going Batman here. You should never underestimate a rich and powerful man with a grudge. I made that mistake one summer when I called our neighborhood ice cream guy's hat that he was wearing a mistake with the shirt you have on. Um, I've never watched so many toasted almond ice cream bars fall to the ground right before I reach for him every Friday when he accidentally dropped mine while handing it over. Learn from my mistake, Superman. I still don't think zigzag should be worn on more than one article of clothing on one person at one time, but now I just keep that information to myself. Uh, childhood, it was a different time. All right, I'm Harrison. You're watching Pop Tanks, written by Hop Culture. Thanks for checking us out. Let's keep it moving and see what's hot on the press, happening in the news. All right, 420 festivals coming in hot. So hot they're smoking. Jokes, they're happening. All right, folks, so it's that time of year again when 420 festivals start popping up. This year, obviously a little bit different. Um, you have, if you're in Miami, you're in Super Lux. So you've probably seen Tripping Animals Iry Jungle Fest is coming up on April 24th. Um, that weekend after 420, this is outside featuring breweries like Vitamin C, Evil Twin, District 96, 450 North. Finback, Resident Culture, Brutalis, some amazing names here, Other Half. Uh, it's gonna be gonna be nuts, more to come. Take us to grab it right through the Osner app uh, and at trophyanimals.osner.com right now. So hop out in the sun, grab some beers you may never see again from breweries that don't come to Florida often, uh, if ever. So it's sure to be uh, a one for the, uh, the, the books there. If you're not Miami though, don't worry about it. You can just jump into your yard or uh, your deck patio, maybe just make a blanket for it and prepare to get whisked away to the magical world of Juicy Brews land. That's right, Pop Culture is back with Juicy Brews 420 Digital Craft Beer Festival, a dank digital beer event unlike any other. That's also happening on the 24th of April. So they partner up with Halftime Beverage again, send some beers right to your front door. You get tickets right now at hopculture.com slash 420. This time around, you got 10 craft beers and a limited release custom stash glass designed by Killer Acid, but you're seeing 450 North, Dank House, Lublin, Burley Oak, and more coming right to you. 
Pop Culture is also thrilled to share a portion of the proceeds from every sale to the Last Prisoner, Prisoner Project, a nonprofit fighting for criminal justice and reimagined drug policy. Make sure to follow Pop Culture Mag online on Instagram to see the updated list of guests, schedule of events. Next up, let's talk about Untapped. Actually, let's talk about a billion, a billion check-ins. That is a huge number, so big, even Dr. Evil couldn't wrap his weird, bald head around it. But anyway, who likes beer? Everyone, duh. How about free beer? Even more of everyone. What am I talking about? So Untapped is actually partnering up with Beer Drop to celebrate Untapped Billion Check-In by giving away a year of free beer. A whole year, free beer. They're hosting a photo contest on Instagram. The winner gets a year of beer for free, courtesy of Beer Drop. Follow at Untapped on Instagram to learn how you can make it rain actual beer for free for a year just by doing what you're already doing, drinking beer or taking photos of it. It's easier than falling off a boat, and I do that all the time. This shirt used to be dark blue. All right, let's finish up with my hoppiest take of the week. Binging. No, not beer. I'm talking about TV. So remember when The Matrix came out and everyone was like, whoa, if I could upload how to fly a helicopter into my mind, I would totally do it. Well, you can. You can go onto YouTube right now and take a master's course on how to fly a helicopter and watch it all the way through in like 90 hours, like a weekend. Same with karate or hyperdimensional physics or the art of blacksmithing. Really, you can download anything in your brain now, anything at all. What have we chosen to do with this power instead? Binge watch shows the names like Real Housewives and So You Think You Can Dance. These are not show names, these are just statements, really boring statements. How do we get here? Is it because couches are comfier than office chairs? I guess all I'm saying is this a cautionary tale, be careful what you wish for. But remember that when you're standing on the stage in the Bachelorette season finale, she tells you she's gonna give her last rose to the guy who has the most unique talent or skill, and all you can do is name all the other contestants from all the other seasons of the Bachelorette. And you're gonna leave yourself to blame. Roseless once again. Well, guys, I've been Harrison. Those are this week's hop takes. If you're smiling, laughing, having a good time, thank you for hanging out. Uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe here. You can follow me at Harry Beer Beard everywhere online too, and Hop Culture Mag everywhere as well to see all the other fun stuff I cooked up. There's going to be even more and more coming. Uh, and uh, if you have hop takes you want me to go over in the next episode, please drop them in the comments. I read them all. I want to talk about what you guys want to talk about. Now, though, I've got to go find a puppet I misplaced somewhere. He's always getting into trouble, so I'm sure I'm sure you guys haven't seen him. But anyway, i got to go. Um, take care of that. So until next week, peace, punch, Captain Crunch. I'm out of here.